Well, Forward Theatre Company has a special show coming up for Gone with the Wind fans. It's called Moonlight and Magnolias, and it's about the actual writing of the movie. There's also a special showing of Gone with the Wind taking place today. That's starting at 1 p.m. at the Orpheum in Madison. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment, but here to tell us more, good morning to you, Michael Herod, and also Jim Buskey. Good morning to good morning, both of you. Good morning, good now, here. tell us what you play. One of you is the writer, and the other one is the director of the film. So give us kind of the background of Moonlight and Magnolias. Uh, where uh, David Selznick, who produced mm -hmm. the film, uh, has decided to close it down. Uh, he doesn't like the way the filming's going, uh, the direction, or the actual screenplay they're working with. So he calls in uh, my character, Ben Hecht, uh, to do rewrites on the entire script. And uh, he calls uh, Jim's character, Victor Fleming, in uh, to direct it. So is this a true story? Yes. Oh, okay. Actually, Victor Fleming um, was just completing the filming of Wizard of Oz. Oh. So they pulled Victor Fleming off of Wizard of Oz and put him on <laughs> Gone with the Wind. And so he, he did two of the best loved movies in the history of American film right back to back. Classics. Yes. And yeah. so this is about the relationship of these two working together. How does that go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has its it, rocky yeah, it points. Could be better at points. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, and, and it's uh, uh, we both uh, know um, uh, David Selznick, um, uh, who is played by Mark Ulrich, mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, so Fleming uh, uh, Selznick brings us into his office, and it is really early in the morning because he's he's losing a lot of money uh, uh -huh. with the, each day that the show's closed down. So and basically what he does is he locks the three of them in his office for five days and they can't leave and they can only eat peanuts and bananas. It's supposed so to be brain food. Yeah. Do you spend a lot of time eating peanuts and bananas on stage? Well, Fortunately, no, <laughs> not we really. We actually spend more time throwing them at each other yeah, than we do yeah. eating them. So, so how so. long did it take them eventually to get this all together? Um, I, it, I think in reality it took a little, uh, about a week and a half, something like that, to uh, really rewrite the whole script. But that's phenomenal, coming out with a masterpiece like that. Yes, and, and they used, they still pieced together a lot of different versions of the, of the script, of the screenplay that they had from several different writers. Um, and they had several directors uh, working in different locations simultaneously yeah, at and, times. And Victor Fleming, near the end of the filming of Gone with the Wind, actually had a, a, a breakdown. <laughs> and <laughs> because he left, yeah, he left the filming for a couple of weeks to rest and recuperate and then he well, came back. Well hopefully he was able to enjoy all the fruits of his labor. Yeah. Now in order to get people excited about this mm -hmm. because the show begins next week, mm -hmm. right? correct? Um, you're going to have a free screening for today. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, today at the Orpheum Theater mm -hmm. starting at 1 o'clock we're going to have a free screening of Gone with the Wind. First part is going to be from 1 to 3. There's going to be a lunch break or a dinner break and then the second part is going to be from 4 to 6. We're going to do a couple of scenes from Moonlight and Magnolias. And we also have a, a silent auction. Oh, wonderful. Um, we're going to have some <coughs> Hollywood signed Hollywood memorabilia. We have a Prada bag signed by Scout Johansson. One of the big things is, is we have a Super Bowl seat cushion signed by Aaron Rodgers. Oh. Right. So we're yeah. hoping people will come down and bid on that. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, what a great idea. Moonlight and Magnolias, the show. Now, where does that take place? At the Overture Center That'll in, be at the, um, Overture in the Playhouse. Center. And mm -hmm. that begins next week. But for today, if uh, you'd get out and want to enjoy, at the Absolutely. Orpheum Theater, yeah. you've got to spend a better part of the afternoon. It is a classic. <laughs> yes, it is. It's but we have, the, we have the silent auction and a nice dinner break built in. So Plus the know. two of you. Oh, exactly. Hey. What more can which, they ask? Oh, bad. <laughs> worth the price of admission, which is free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Thanks so much, Thank both you of you. Me.